Hey curl friends, welcome back to the Prison Pearls channel. My name is Chloe and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss any of my tutorials and tips. Today we're gonna be doing a little battle of the lashes. As you can guess from the video title, we're gonna be going against Lashify versus Lilac Street, okay? And Lilac Street is one that's brand new to me. Lashify, however, I've been using probably for about a year and a half, almost two years. I think I was trying it like right around the holidays in 2019 and I've been using them religiously. And let me just back up here for a second to explain kind of like why I'm talking about these right here versus just normal lashes that you'd put on on a daily basis. So for me personally, I have crazy sensitive eyes. I have sensitive skin, I have sensitive eyes. I'm just like a sensitive person. So when it comes to putting on lashes, I literally could not stand. Number one, I felt like they I could always see the little lash line. So that always bothered me because I'm also very detail oriented. And then it also, no matter how long I was wearing it, I feel like I, I could always feel the heaviness on my lashes. I really didn't like that. It always bothered them. I felt like it was always coming up on the end. Like I just, and I tried multiple brands. I really gave it a good shot and I just didn't like it. I haven't liked them for years. And so then I heard about Lashify, okay? And Lashify, they were kind of, I feel like the starter in this when it comes to putting little lashes, little groupings of lashes underneath versus over top. And I was like, okay, I'm willing to try it. You know, they talk about being hypoallergenic, lightweight, you can wear them for multiple days. Like I normally would wear them for like anywhere from like three to six days probably. Sometimes I'd even wear them for almost a week. So you can sleep in them and they're just so comfortable. You put them on it and you literally have no idea that they are there. And so I've been using those for a very long time, like I said, and then my friend Cassie, which I'll put her information below, she told me about Lilac Street and she goes, girl, she's like, these lashes are so similar to Lashify's, but they're like a fraction of the cost. So today we're gonna try Lashify on one side and we're gonna try Lilac Street on the other and really give it a true neck and neck test. So when it comes to Lashify, when you start, you start normally with a control kit. The control kit comes like this. They look like this and they have your individual groupings through here. I think there are a total of 10 groupings on each one. And then you can choose between, I think for the control kit, you can choose between like A, B or C and you start out pretty light, but they go up a, B, C, they're all like different lengths and types and like looks. So like there's like A through like triple D or something like that. It's like bra cups. <laughs> and so my favorite is the C's. I think they look really natural and they have a nice curl to them. And then I go with the, the 14 length and the 16 length normally. And then it'll come with these little things. They're your applicator tongs basically. I don't even know what they really call these. They're these little plastic things on top. It comes with the Whisper Light Flexible Bond. So this is dual ended. It comes with one side that has the white, which turns to clear. And then the other side comes with black. This one's pretty old. I actually just ordered a new one. So that is right here. All right, and they have different levels of bonds. Okay, so this one's called Bondage with Charco Flex. So this is going to be like the black version, but this one's supposed to be even a little bit stronger of hold than the one that it comes with. And then the last thing that will come in your control is going to be this little guy, and this is called Glass. And what the glass is going to do is that takes any of the stickiness away that may be left from like excess glue. So this looks like this, and I really enjoy the applicator on this. It's got this little fuzzy ball on the bottom, which I is pretty much all I use. I don't really use the mascara wand piece because you can just basically put that and then you just like drag it on both sides of your lashes to just make sure you seal in all that bond and make sure that there's no stickiness left. Now, the kicker with Lashify is that it's pretty pricey, at least on your front end to get started. So the Lashify control kit is $145. So what I just showed you here, 
And like I said, it lasts a really long time, but it's 145, which is quite expensive. And then from there, as you wanna order more lashes and play around with it, then you can order those and you can go on their monthly or bi-monthly plan. I think I order once a month or once every other month. I can't remember which one, which plan I'm on, but they have a minimum of $40 per month. That's what you have to spend if you want to be on that plan. And that basically gets me four total of the Gossamers. Again, that's what these little guys are. So it'll give me four. So I just get two 14s and two 16s and that easily lasts me throughout a month. And for most people, because most people aren't always recording and doing photography and photo shoots and stuff like I am, you might just be using these for events, weddings, or you, something along those lines where you wanna have a little more something something. Now I'm pulling up my Lilac Street orders, $52.50. So we're talking about like the home, like a third to a fourth of the cost for the Lashify order. Now the first impressions, okay, here's everything that I ordered. First impressions from what I could see, their packaging is not nearly as nice as Lashify's. But if the product's just as good, I don't really care about the packaging. <laughs> what I ordered was the starter kit, which came with two things of their gossamers or their lash sets. It also came with the lash glue. So here's the lash glue right here. Looks like it is a white and it's probably gonna dry clear is my guess. It came with the wand. That's what it's called, dang it, it's called a wand. What we can see here, let's just do a direct comparison of these wands. You can see here that the wand right here versus this one, I, I feel like the quality already looks a lot better on this one. This one feels kind of chintzy. So this is what we're basically looking at here. I did you get a discount code for 10% off. So without the 10% off, it would have been closer to 60. I also ordered on top of that three of their Hollywood lash sets. They just had a little bit more fun, I feel like, of a vibe. And I did like the way they had on their website, like you could see how they look on each person's eye to get an idea of which one you wanted to order. I like with the control kit, like it's all in there and it's in a closed container, so it's super easy to travel with. Whereas these, like I'm not able to take this out and travel with that as easily. I mean, I still can, but it's just not gonna be, I feel like, as easy. So for the Hollywood, I got 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and the 16 millimeter length. The originals that came in the starter kit came in the 10 and 12 millimeter length. And then they also do have a crystal coat, like the glass looks like this. We're gonna test these and see what happens. Okay, so for Lashify, we're gonna start using that bondage. You need very little, and we're gonna just go in just underneath, right where those lashes will be applied. And then it normally needs about probably 10 to 20 seconds to get sticky and tacky before you actually apply the lashes themselves. The nice thing again with Lashify that I really like is that it's hypoallergenic, so if I get this glue in my eyes, it doesn't hurt. I like to do a 14 length on the outer corner. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I grab it. They're very fine and the lash line itself right here, you can see where they're all connected. It's so thin. So we're just gonna pop this underneath and it grabs. Like literally it is that easy. So the next one I'm gonna do, I think three 16s and then another 14. We're basically gonna go 14, 16, 16, 16, 14 and see how that goes. And look at just how much volume there is. These C's are, they are my absolute favorite. Okay, and that is one set all applied. So you can see the difference right here. Okay, and the next piece that you have to do is you have to basically seal them, right? So they recommend applying like this and going in on the whole thing, but I like to flip it out personally. This is just my technique that I found works better for me. So I'll go in and I just go little bit by little bit from outside corner to inside. And that just really like, fuses them into your natural lash line so it looks flawless. So it is, keep in mind, really important that when you are applying them, you don't want them to touch your skin and touch that lash line. You want to apply them just ever so slightly away from that so that they don't irritate your skin or your eyes. The last step is to seal it with the glass. This is the applicator, I love the applicator. And we're just gonna put it underneath and anywhere they're still sticky, this is going to get that sticky off. I cannot feel these on right now. 
which is insane because if I were to put these large of lashes on with a strip, I, I'd be dying right now. So this is what they look like closer up. So voluminous, so full, so flawless. I love them. So let's do Lilac Street. I'm super excited to try these and see how they compare. I'm gonna use the Hollywood versions versus the original because I think they look a little bit more on par with what the other ones are gonna look like as well as I'm gonna go with the 14s and 16s because I want them to be the same length. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prep the lashes. This is already very different. The applicator for this is like a brush. So I guess I'm gonna go up underneath here and just paint this on. So we're probably at like the mm, 10 second spot right now. Ooh, oh, okay, they are sticky. All right, good deal. They're definitely sticky, so they're definitely ready for application. So same timing and yeah, they feel just as sticky. So this is what the Hollywood 14s look like. Okay. It applied beautifully, just as my other ones would, so that's great. Ooh, these 16s look long. Wow, okay. Okay, and here are the 16s. Ooh, looking good so far. <gasps> oh no. I went to go take it out of the thing and I didn't get, because it's glued on to this, I literally pulled out multiple of the lashes out of the strip instead of pulling it off a strip. So that already, that is something I don't like. I don't like that it's on there with glue versus whereas, so if you look at Lashify's, you can see they're just basically placed in, they're placed into this little holder instead so that it doesn't affect the integrity of the lash. And the wand is actually, even though it's not as nice as the other one, it is working really well for the application. Oh no. That one just came off. Okay, this one's giving me issues. It's on. It's on there. Okay. Oh no, the other one's coming off. Okay, this one's not going as seamlessly. Oh, I don't have any glue on the inner corner. That's probably part of my problem here. Okay, this wand is not letting me get into my inner corners nearly as easily as the other wand. I'm, I'm definitely struggling more. All right, third try the charm, right? Mother. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. We're gonna just like let it be and then we're just gonna clamp it down. We're gonna like pry it open a little bit. This one does not open up as easily as the other one. You can see how open this one is. So you can really get in there and then how closed this one is. Oh, okay, and it sticks, which I had a feeling might happen. With this wand, because it comes with these little plastic things, those actually help make sure that the lashes don't stick to the wand during that sticky phase. So can you see, like it's sticking. Oh yeah, so sticky. I would pay the extra money for the lash if I want for sure. Okay, all lashes are on. Now I just need to do the Lilac Lash Crystal Coat. Crystal glass. This one does not have the little dot at the end that I can just like run over that way. So this is truly like bringing it through your lashes. So we'll do it that way. And I think that's done. Honestly, these lashes all, they, I feel like they look pretty similar. Lilac Street here, Lashify here. What do we think? They look really similar. I feel like these ones look a little more full at the base. And that's probably just because of the different style. As far as like how they feel on my eyes, they feel pretty much identical. Like I would not know if like somebody didn't tell me that they were two different companies, I would not know. Oh, okay guys, welcome back. It is the next morning. I am fresh faced minus the lashes. And here's the deal, overall, Y'all, they stayed on real well, like both of them. And when I say I sleep on my face, I'm not kidding. Like when I am on my pillow, I sleep like this. Okay, so I'm like sleeping on the side and I sleep like this, like basically on one eye. It's probably not great for like wrinkles. but <laughs> So I do that and then I like, I toss and turn. So I slept on both eyes for sure. And overall, these stayed beautifully as well. I will say, I do think that they're slightly more stiff, just ever so slightly. And when I, I had like an itch in my eye last night and I like tried rubbing it and it kind of like, 
the lashes kind of rubbed into my eye and I think it made them a little more sensitive. I don't know if that was just like a me thing or a la or that was like a lash problem. Could have been a me thing. But overall guys, I'm really impressed and for the fraction of the cost, I am absolutely going to recommend Lilac Street. What I would however say, do everything Lilac Street, but go over to Lashify and I would buy their wand. Now, I mean, you could try the other wand that comes in there, the Lilac Street kit, this one right here. I just didn't really like using it nearly as much. I would still recommend this, but I really can't remember. Again, I'll pop the price up here of how much the wand is. So if you're looking for Lashify as like, this is like your bougie option, but the fact that Lilac Street came as close as it did, I still think for the fraction of the price, well, well worth it. I am probably gonna start using more Lilac Street ones. I actually asked my husband, which eye do you like more? And he he, he looked at it and he goes, hmm. He liked this one more. He liked these lashes more, he said. He said they were like more full and like even, which I would agree. I would agree. I think these are more full on the bottom, but I don't know if that's just because like the way the lashes are like this Hollywood lash was designed versus the C's cause they're not the same design, but overall really happy. I will put all the links that you guys need below. If you have questions um, on application or what you should choose or like the style, just let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up so that we can let other people know about these amazing lashes as well. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my tips and tutorials. And you guys, until next time, I will see you then. Bye.